Good morning, everyone. Almost um, afternoon, actually. Yeah, Happy post so. Thanksgiving Day. Uh, this is my dear, dear, dear friend and fellow Canadian, Tanya <laughs> Rubin. And um, that's how I first bonded. What? Being Canadian moms at school. Yes, that's right. That's how we connected. Our children went to the same school, and uh, we have a lot in common. And they're the same exact age, same gender. Which yes. was very unusual because they're mine are sixteen months apart and yours are seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> and, and it's uh, two the two girls are older and the two boys are younger. Yeah. So it made a super easy play date. <laughs> super well, they all hey, got along. Hey, we got along. And, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, so um what I want to talk to you about today is my seminar that's coming up on December eighth. It's in Encino and it's from ten AM to twelve. And the title is How to Get Through Cancer with a Smile. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous, I know. But studies have shown, and um, I think it's just generally true that if you feel joy and you put a smile on your face, even when things are going, you know, things are really, really difficult, it does help. And my doctors did say that I... I, I fared well because of my attitude and because of my jokes. I had colon cancer, but to be specific, I had colorectal cancer. So you can imagine the number of jokes you can get out of that. <laughs> and um, so this is one of the points. There's 20 um, powerful points that I go over. And um, one of them is support system. And Tanya was, uh, her and her family were an amazing support system to me at that time. When uh, we started school, in the first, well, our kids were in the first grade, and, by, and I got diagnosed in uh, February. And Tanya and I were talking. Do you want to go over that conversation? <laughs> we were outside of the playground waiting for the kids, and it kind of went like... You reminded me. It was, she was talking about preparing herself for chemotherapy and, and you know, determined that she was going to just breeze through chemotherapy and that it would be like smooth sailing and and it would be like the flu yeah <laughs> That's what my doctor said it'll be like the flu i'll be like i'm fine i'll be fine and she's like well i do the flu great so yeah. no big deal and and i guess i don't know what to say about my response to that because now i'm like oh gosh did i really actually say that but yeah, apparently yeah. we were close enough that i felt comfortable saying i don't no, I mean, I, I don't know anyone who hasn't found chemotherapy difficult. <laughs> I said this to my friend about to go through chemotherapy, but she was like, oh, it's not going to be like, it was so like, oh, like I'm going to get my nails done. And yeah. I'm like, I don't, I think you need to prepare yourself for, for at least a few obstacles <laughs> and mental challenges. But she had such a fabulous attitude through through the whole thing. It was, you, you know, sometimes you would forget that you're even going through this. Well, what's interesting about that is that that's, what, one we're second, filming. please, we're filming. <laughs> is it an emergency? All right, okay, thanks, we'll be there in a minute. This is what happens when you do live video. Um, I think uh, that, that that point of view that I had, that you know, um, positive point of view no matter what, <laughs> like that was my mindset. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get to this, no, no problem. So sometimes it's to a fault because chemo is not easy. It was not easy, it, it was. I think this is how the story got re-brought up yesterday over Thanksgiving was that it was like kind of that I had the 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 I had an audacity to like call out the the elephant in the room and say come on we got to like prepare yourself but you also took that positive attitude and used that to help fuel you through so it's a combination of like having that good attitude but also preparing so, yeah, yourself going. and using your support system yeah, you can never, ever really prepare yourself for chemo, but um, speaking about the support system is, you know, what I what I really wanted to focus in on is that if you have a support system, you're blessed. Rely on them. Ask them for help. It's very hard for me to ask people for help, but that was one of the uh, grateful lessons that I learned while going through chemo, um, or the, just the whole ordeal, which was basically a year and a half of my life. 
Um, and no different, no, not super special. It's, you know, cancer, you get cancer, you go through the chemo, the surgeries, the procedures. So mine was definitely not special. I know people that have had it twice, and three times, and you know, I bow to them. So um, if you don't have a support system, there's lots of help out there because the one thing about the cancer world, they're, they're amazing people. We want to help. We will help. And all you have to do is ask. Now, if you do have a support system, like Tanya, just can you share some of the things that you did to like help us out? I think mainly, you know, I talked to you when we were we were at, a, you know, when we were out and checked in on you and offered to take the kids and yeah. and pick up, drop off, you know, just kind of like some of those basic things that you might not have had the energy to to do you know inviting over for for dinner or what have you just like those little details that those little details are huge when you're going through cancer because you you know for me i was always 100 percent with my children my children never went on any play dates without me they were only four and six so it was it was you know it was really really hard for me to submit to that and to trust people and I feel very blessed that, you know, I had trust, you know, in Tanya. I mean, we are Canadian. <laughs> and we're from the same side of Canada, which is the west side, the Vancouver region. So, um, you know, all jokes aside, I, I, was, I felt, you know, comfortable leaving my children with her. She's very responsible. And because we, we'd only been friends for about – We were new friends. Yeah, we were new friends. Mm -hmm. Um, but my that no, beginning of that school year, yes, so five or six months. Yes, yeah, six, yeah exactly. So uh, you know, knowing that she was there for me, that I could call on her, that she would be helpful, that my children would be happy there, and, and you know that they would be in a loving, supportive family environment with really good food. The one thing was tricky too was I didn't know, like, well, not that I didn't know that your children didn't know while you were going through treatment, right? What um, that was something that she had chosen to keep. To mm -hmm. herself, that at four and six, that her her children knew she was sick, but they didn't know that the cancer that it was cancer, and she was concerned that they would not be able to really comprehend that. And that was always tricky because I could, I was always worried I would slip and say something that would would give information that she wasn't comfortable with them having yet. <laughs> I was like, oh you, wait, <laughs> <laughs> you were backtracking. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> wait, no, I didn't mean that. Yeah. yeah. That's another point we can talk. We talk about during the event is uh, you know what you what you do and what you don't say to your children, um, and that's really very personal choice. Mm -hmm. No judgment anywhere. Um, so basically, pick your team, pick your support system, pick your team. Know who those people are that are going to be there for you to help you with your children, to help you with your appointments maybe your medication to help you emotionally. Who are you calling for that emotional support? Who's your 911 call? Who's that person that will answer the phone at three in the morning when you're having a meltdown, when you are thinking about, you know, your mortality and you feel like you're, hope, you're, you're in a hopeless state. Uh, it's, it's super, super important. And I bet, um, you, I bet that, those, that support system, I'm guessing, sometimes surprises you. There's probably people that you think are going to be a great support that let you down, mm -hmm. and then oh, there's yeah. going to be people that you aren't necessarily expecting it, and somehow and they step up, and you're just like, oh my gosh, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, like almost strangers, like Tyler. Right. Tyler from school, that one of our moms, she didn't even, she had met me once. Sent no kids back. in our school. No, no kids. Sorry, in the same grade. Same grade, right? Yeah. So not a lot of interaction. Sending gifts, uh, baskets of food, frozen and fresh toys for the children. Yeah, it's, it's lots of random acts of, kind, yeah. of kindness. Of kind, yes. Yeah. yeah, some people. But something to prepare yourself for because mm -hmm. you may have expectations that some people are going to step up and if they let you down. That can be. Like sort of that release of expectations in general can be. That's a great point. That's a really good point. And don't judge them because they may have had somebody close to them who they lost or they're not comfortable. They didn't know what to say. They feel awkward. So, you know, give that to them. Don't, don't. A lot, like, I had a friend come up to me after. She's like, I just didn't know what to say to you. Like, it's okay. It's fine. I, I felt that way. way. I felt like not like I didn't know what to say and what to do. Really? Yeah, sure. Oh, well, you were flawless. <laughs> 
but it, that didn't change like the feeling because it was so i mean you had such a serious you know not that different cancers are less and more you know but this was a very no stage uh, three is more <laughs> right this was a serious diagnosis with a scary prognosis and and as a mom with children the same mm -hmm. age mm -hmm. and the same like there it was so like like these children needed you you know and that was something she said all the time too was like my children need like this is not this is not an option my children i can't need. go i'm not going i'm not going mm -hmm. and abby but it was very real and it was very like i don't you know i didn't you know i just tried tried to do my best with this newer friend and it was kind of a, an interesting situation to be you know thrust into and you know many years later eight years we later are. and we're fast you know we're thick as thieves yeah and I know that every mom wants to live. I do not want to yeah, in no, no. any way discount that I wanted to live more. I just got lucky, okay? I just got lucky, and um, I'm, I'm just so grateful and so blessed. So everything that I'm doing, I'm doing for those moms, and I'm doing for our fighters, survivors, thrivers. And I welcome all of you to come to the event. Uh, it's a small fee. We're going to be, it's two hours. We're going to be having lunch. And I'm going over the points, and it's in Encino at a lovely golf course. So all the information is on my page, and I'll send it out again today. And for the you, for those of you that are having financial difficulties, um, just you know, you have grants for that. <laughs> yeah, I have grants for that. So just let me know, DM me, PM me. You can. I mean, it's very easy to get a hold of me, and I will comp your ticket. And I'd just like to say thank you publicly to my dear friend for. Um, for being there for me and for the family and um, because of it we have this amazing friendship and our children we go to we go to camp every year and we're we're really we're really close everybody's really clo close and it's you know we have wonderful traditions like coming up to beautiful Temecula on Thanksgiving and Christmas and we just you know from that from that um, very um, negative difficult uh, challenging part of my life comes all this joy and that's why I talk about cancer and a smile because now I have a smile and wonderful friends. All right, so come come join me and um, keep smiling through all of your challenges. Happy post Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. Happy Bla oh yeah, <laughs> Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. <laughs> Bye.